Hey, this is Steve, and this is the Command Center. Hey, you know, we've been out on the water a couple times a week, every week for months now, and i got to break the news to you guys. Some of you guys don't know how to drive a boat very well. I know it gets crowded out there, and we all make mistakes, but the past couple weeks it's been getting pretty bad with people cutting each other off and nearly hitting each other out there in the water. So I don't know if it's the old high school teacher in me or what, but I thought I could take a moment and show a couple of situations that can be easily avoided if people would just think for a minute, slow down, and do the right thing. Anyway, let's go to the whiteboard and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, this one happens all the time, and that is when we're trolling in a line. And we troll on a line a lot. We get behind a boat and, and try to stay, you know, in, in a path with them. But what happens sometimes is the lead boat, in this case boat A, we'll call boat A, is trolling at a slower speed than a boat coming up from behind, which we'll call boat B. Um, what happens, I think, is fishermen think that because they're trolling gear behind them and they're at a particular depth and that they're, uh, you know, trying to keep a, a certain uh, speed going, that they have the right to actually push a boat out of the way that's going at a slower speed, and that's not the case. This boat, A, is actually called the stand-on boat or the stand-on vessel. That means that boat is on a course you th you can't see in front of them and you don't know what they're what 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 they're navigating around and so if you want to pass them at a different rate of speed at a higher rate of speed you have the option of changing your course giving way it's called to give way and you can give way to the port or to the starboard also you're supposed to notify this boat that you're passing them and yes what you see a lot of the older guys out there We'll be doing hand signals to one another, pointing to where we're going to go, instead of tooting the horn, which is what the book says to do. So you guys out there that, that are, are coming up on the stern of somebody, typically when a person is trolling, they're looking back anyway, and so the captain of this vessel can see the captain of this vessel um, and, and, and work it out. If this person points to one side or the other, they're giving you an option to go around them. You cannot expect this person driving this boat to change their course because you're coming up behind them at a different speed. Two weeks ago, we had a guy come right up on us and was within 10 feet of clipping my stern. We had to drag in all of our gear. He rolled right over the top of all of our gear and uh, had the, uh, the, the audacity to be angry at me, the captain of Vessel A, because I wasn't going fast enough for him. I was trolling at about four or five miles an hour. Our gear was at about a 45 degree angle. Um, I'm not sure what kind of fish he was chasing, but uh, uh, typically trolling at six, seven, eight miles an hour, um, uh, you're not going to get a whole lot chasing your lure out there. So anyway, stand on, give way. If you're coming up from behind somebody, you are the give way vessel, not the person in front of you. Well, I hope that clears it up a little bit. Next time I post a video post about boater safety, I think we'll do the uh, the head-to-head -head version of what happens out there. Uh, when another boat is coming at you head-on, what are you supposed to do? We'll find out next time. Bye.